I've, given, I've been hearing from Nokia people and also other Linux developers and others of uh, how MIMO 6 and uh, Nokia is uh, a desktop level operating uh, system and uh, how Nokia N900 is more like uh, a small computer than, than a phone or smartphone and actually I've been playing with Nokia N900 and uh, more, I more or less agree with this, uh, this description and, uh, and yesterday you have probably seen that uh, uh, Nokia N900 uh, already yeah, can, can do a lot of things that uh, actually desktop PC can do. Yesterday you saw the uh, it running Google Wave, but I would like uh, to do uh, even some, some even more challenging. What I want to do today is to download the uh, yeah, a movie from uh, P2P BitTorrent site and play it uh, on my Nokia N900 device. So here we have uh, a local um, BitTorrent uh, site here in Lithuania. I selected it because. Well, because the downloads are faster and one thing that, that I'm looking for as a proof of concept is a movie which is not archived because for some stupid legacy re reasons most of releases of new TV show episodes and all other new releases they usually come uh, archived in and split into multiple RAR files and Nokia N100 for now does not have any archiving utilities so if the movie is archived, I wouldn't be able to play it, so now I, what I want to do is uh, find a, a movie which is comes from local sources here in Lithuania, because most of them are not archived, and let's see what we have here, yes, Lithuanian version of CSI New York, so you know, CSI is pretty much well known for everyone. The sound will probably be in Lithuanian, but be pretty familiar. Yes, here we have it. As you can see, this is the CSI file, 387 megabytes uh, to download. And let's see, so here is the link to the download file. Let's press it. And yes, I have uh, downloaded and installed a P2P client for my mod devices called Transmission. This is uh, in a better version, so it uh, might be a little bit buggy, but as you can see, it actually works. And let's open it with Transmission and see what happens. Yeah. So, well actually I have been downloading this before, but uh, just to make uh, the things uh, quicker. So now it's actually, and I stopped this download and, uh, and decided to record this movie. And uh, this is now he, just like any uh, P2P client, it is now verifying the, part, the downloaded part of the movie and uh, as soon it was something like 120 or 150 megabytes already downloaded. And uh, one thing that actually doesn't work when you are downloading, uh, f using P2P client to download stuff is multitasking actually this is the, f the first application that actually slows down uh, N900 to to the point of almost crashing if i were if i wanted now to minimize this application and to go so and go somewhere else everything uh, becomes extremely s slow and i, I even uh, got an error message like uh, this browser window is not responding do you f want to force close it and all other stuff so for now let's leave it alone and for now let's leave it alone and just be patient to get this movie I'm downloading uh, this stuff over the uh, Wi-Fi in my on my home on my on my home network right, because actually the my data plan wouldn't 
support many of these downloads and I very quickly will reach, reach my, my limits. So for now, for at least for me, uh, home networks and Wi-Fi is a thing to go. And well, it crashed on me again and I actually had to do a hard system reset, even take uh, the battery out to get the 900 working normally again. As I said, the whole process for now is uh, uh, extremely uh, buggy. The application isn't better, the firmware is uh, uh, unfinished, uh, so you can expect uh, that it will be buggy and uh, probably will improve with time. But what I wanted, wanted to do today and what I'm doing today is just uh, demonstrate that uh, P2P uh, file downloading is possible and movie playback, uh, AVI movie playback is possible on uh, Nokia and on uh, an N900 device basically are out of the box with a simple install of the application and so now we don't we have we are almost there there are we have 300 of mm, 387 megabytes into the download and the download is happening moderately fast but again just look at the battery indicator all i have been trying to do with the <coughs> with the, today with nokia 900 is uh, well, it was sitting a couple idle for for a couple of hours, but after that, uh, what I did is only try to download this movie, and it crashed a couple of times uh, and everything. But now you you can see how much of the battery power a single movie download has uh, used up for now. Has downloaded, and uh, now let's find it where it is on the device and see if we can play it back. Quit transmission. Yes, quit transmission. We don't have anything to do with you right now. Okay, let's go to file manager. Okay, N900. And yes, I think uh, download. It's a new uh, folder that uh, transmission application has created. Yeah, and here we have it. CSI New York Season 5 Episode 20 DVD RIP XVID and let's see if it plays. Hmm? Yeah, here we go. See, the movie is playing, so you can go and download uh, the movies. There is no problem in that. And this is all I wanted to show you today.